It's the worst of the CBC for December 8th, 2020, the show where I watch the CBC so you don't have to. All right, today was the epitome of like why I had to take such a long break from the segment because it just drives me crazy. And it wasn't even the COVID stuff today. I mean, it was like, oh, I checked the thing, like not as, you know, half non-COVID. Okay, that's great. And even when they're talking about, you know, guys getting vaccines, all right, whatever. I mean, they're making some mistakes here, but okay, not egregious. But then it just ever gets ridiculous. And it's like, okay, then anti-black racism is rampant at Windsor. Why we, someone says so, okay. So Windsor University is the most racist organization because two professors use the N word in class. Like, again, I read To Kill a Mockingbird in, in the 10th grade. My English teacher used the N word. Like, well, Again, we need academic sort of freedom to, to say and discuss sensitive topics like this. Everyone's going too crazy. So n nothing on that. I'm like, okay, is this going to be what I'm doing? Then it's like, oh my God, Faith, coming up next, we're going to investigate the the failures of pandemic spending and, and what was the spending? To, what? The CBC is going to investigate the liberal government for pandemic spending? No way. Oh my God. Guys, get around. Crowd that around. Like, I was, I was about to be like, am I wrong? Am I wrong? Is the CBC the greatest news organization? No, I was not wrong. Um... So the two things they looked into is basically no 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 auditing did was there fraud it was like okay the first one is like yeah the government gave lots of spending to women's shelters for the pandemic which actually makes a lot of sense i'm not going to rip them for that um of course death and domestic like of course if you lock everyone down domestic violence is going to skyrocket and you need to have a way to deal with that but it wasn't like hey we're going to investigate how it was spent it's just like they threw a lot of money at us and there was no like regulations it's like, oh okay fine women's shelters pandemic go the next thing is indigenous uh tr tourism it's like okay we can't like look at like curb or, or any of the things like okay indigenous tourism it's like yeah so we went to the indigenous board and the first thing he did is they awarded themselves a twenty five thousand dollar bonus okay and then oh it, it, was, it was not efficient they, i mean some people had to wait for twenty five thousand dollars or not everyone got money right away and it was like can, can we can we talk about maybe the 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 failures of the logistics of, of sort of giving you know unmonitored like independent councils that can't be looked at by the Canadian government due to fears of racism or, or anti indigenous blah 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 blah. So there was no actual investigation in how the spending it was basically they spent a lot of money and the more money they spent is good and the faster they spent it is even better. So it was the exact opposite of what you do when you try and monitor government spending. It was basically they basically the criteria for spending government spending is. How much did you spend? And more is is better than less, and that's the, that's the pure metric. And if they had spent eighty trillion dollars, that would have been amazing. Only thing better is eighty one trillion dollars, uh, you know. And if they had put no checks and balances, that's even best. So the best the best is maximum and maximum spending and maximum deregulation or, or, or self monitoring. Like if no checks and balances, if they had just given you know if they had given like you know someone named like the senior member of Al-Qaeda. If they give like Osama bin Laden $50 billion with just no, and, and no one even looked it over, that would have been the greatest thing in the world according to the CBC's metrics, which again, drives me crazy. But that wasn't even like the worst covered story of the day. We're not gonna have time the biggest omission. The biggest omission was just, we'll, we'll skip it. Everything they didn't do. They just, the biggest, they could have done anything, literally anything better. But the worst covered stories of the day is like, you get to the point where, I mean, just Donald Trump is, is, is turning away from Fox News. And it was an eight minute story, an eight minute story. And we're gonna, I guess like, we're not gonna, election fraud, ha <laughs> ha. If, if I get kicked off of social media for mentioning this again, so be it, I, I don't care at this point. I do care, but please don't kick me off. Um, click the like button and subscribe to the whatever, comment for the algorithm, you know, give me your first, firstborn child, secondborn, I'm not that greedy. So they were just basically covering the fact that like Donald Trump, is 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 pushing conspiracy and these and these fringe and they like brought in experts and like this is the this is what I'm terrified of the Biden this is why the Biden administration is like terrifying other than like they're gonna give Iran the ability to end the world in 30 years sorry if they re-end the Iran deal it'll be 20 years or maybe 16 years depending on how stupid Biden is um, so what what they're going to do is they're going to use these experts to say well conservative media like one the CDC goes ballistic absolutely ballistic when someone says the phrase liberal media right there's no liberal media we're not biased look at us we're, we're completely diverse i vote liberal he votes ndp she votes green he votes liberal he votes liberal he votes liberal he votes ndp he votes green he votes liberal that guy's a communist that guy's a socialist i vote he votes liberal she votes liberal that's a transgender ndp person it's a transgender liberal see diversity we're not the liberal media Right? And we have a conservative in a cage there. And it's Charles Adler and he's always crying. Right? Michael Corn. We have Charles Adler. We're conservative. Sure. Okay. That's the game they play. 
So conservative media. And they're just talking about, again, Newsmax and uh, One American Network. It's just like, oh, they're just pushing out propaganda now. Pushing propaganda. Right? Like, again, you have to... You have to make a claim. If you're going to make a claim, you have to provide evidence of it. No evidence. Just, there's no evidence of, of voter fraud whatsoever. It's like, yes, there is. Now, is it... The question is, is there overwhelming evidence in enough states to overturn this? And that's where the skepticism comes in on my, on, on my end. But there is easily a thousand, mm, probably 10,000 times the amount of evidence provided for Trump's election fraud conspiracy versus the Russiagate conspiracy, which they pushed for four years. Like, I remember covering the SNC-Lavalin story on these segments and then doing SNC-Lavalin. They had spent two minutes on SNC-Lavalin. Actually, one, one day, they spent 30 seconds on SNC-Lavalin and then they did, I think it was like 12 minutes on Russiagate conspiracy. That was a conspiracy, right? And there was, I said that probably a million times more evidence because the Russiagate conspiracy peddled by the CBC was Vladimir Putin used Russian Facebook bots and 15-year-old Russians in the basements uh, of Moscow and they were creating Facebook posts. And with the Russian Facebook posts, people were all ready to vote for Hillary Clinton. They were so ready to vote for Hillary Clinton. Everyone wanted to vote for Hillary. But then they saw Facebook posts, poorly spelled, made by Russian Facebook bots, and that completely changed their mind. Like, oh, now Hillary is a satanic pedophile. Can't vote for her because it's a poorly spelled Facebook book. I, I voted Democrat my entire life. You know, I, I, you know, I sexually fantasize about Bernie Sanders and AOC, you know, just throwing all my money out the window. That gets me off. But I saw this Russian Facebook post and, oh, gonna vote for Trump now. Just duped. That was the conspiracy. They pushed that for four years. I said, Trump's allowed three months of investigating. He's allowed to bring up the things in Pennsylvania. You can talk about Nevada. You can talk about Arizona, right? You could talk about these data dumps at late at night. To say there is no evidence of Trump's conspiracy is, is, a, is, a, is a lie. Now, the claim you can make at the CBC is there, there is insufficient evidence to, to overturn the election. That's the truth. Or that is a more truthful statement, let's say, right? But to say there is no evidence is an outright lie. To say there is super evidence and it's going to be overturned and, and, and it's no chance that it absolutely definitely was steal, we don't have evidence for that. We're trying to figure this out. But the CBC is, has, has no, 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 you know, drive for, for in trying to find out the truth. But they're calling everything else propaganda, which again, this is the terrifying thing of the Biden presidency is... They get these experts to just declare Fox News, declare OAN, it's pushing propaganda and it's dangerous. And they'll find the one mistake I've made in the three and a half years of making content. See, he lies. See, Daniel said um, it was Saturday, November 4th. November 4th was actually a Sunday. See, he's fake news and it's propaganda and we can't have this. It's dangerous. And they're talking about, oh, the dangers of this conspiracy and not accepting the results of the election for four years. For four friggin' years, they pushed this goddamn conspiracy all over us. And, and now it's, it's the danger and the unprecedented. It's just the complete lack of introspection is uh, 10 out of 10. No, 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 sorry. On the Rosemary Barden scale of bias, today is an 11. Today is an 11 out of 10 on the Rosemary Barden scale of bias. Drives me crazy. All right, I'll see everyone tomorrow night, 8 p.m. for Uninterrupted. Be there or, or not be there. Or you probably won't be there because I'm so censored to death on social media anyway. So... Click the bell and subscribe or like the page or whatever it is. You know what to do. Uh, I don't.